by persuading the nation to forsake its lust for war and bring our troops home. Ben has made countless personal presentations exposing war's cost to groups all over America using dramatic demonstrations featuring BBs and Oreos. We're about to see this. He has not hesitated to risk Ben and Jerry's good name in relation to his presentations and has taken a good deal of heat for his actions. VSP is honored to recognize Ben Cohen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's very, very kind of you. Uh, I'm just going to... ice cream. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just going to use this little device here. Um, well, uh, you know, you make enough ice cream over enough years and, uh, you know, you get a few awards, but it is... <laughs> It is truly an honor uh, to get this award from this organization, and it's been wonderful to, to get to know some of you over the last uh, couple of days and scoop some ice cream for you. Uh, I want to tell you uh, how I got to be here tonight. Uh, you know, I've been working on this film on the uh, spiritual and economic consequences of uh, the federal budget and how our money gets split up. And uh, at, at last year's Common Ground Fair uh, here in Maine, I uh, was walking around with a friend of mine who lives here, and uh, I stumbled across this table that had these great uh, postcards with quotes on them, uh, and it was the VFP table. And uh, I ran into these maniacs, and, uh, and sure enough, there was, they were pushing this 25th anniversary convention, and uh, uh, I ended up calling up and asking if I could uh, come. You know, I'm not a vet, but would it be okay if I came? And they said, man, not only can you come, but we'll give you an award just for showing up. And I said, wow, <laughs> these are my kind of people. Um, so, uh, yeah, it seems like we've been... Uh, plowing some of the same ground and uh, of course this is information that you guys know but I you know in order to make sense out of the federal budget I'm I'm really just a dessert guy and uh, it occurred to me that uh, when you're dealing with things this large and complicated you really need to deal with it in terms of dessert and it came to me that the proper dessert to deal with this particular issue is Oreo cookies and so what I have here under this black cloth is a chart. It's a bar chart uh, where each Oreo cookie equals $10 billion. And what you see here is a stack of 70 Oreo cookies, $700 billion. That is our current uh, Pentagon budget. And what I want to do is show you in comparison to that, how much the federal government is spending on some of these other areas. On education K-12, the government spends four and a half Oreos, $445 billion. Uh, on world hunger, the government spends three Oreos. On veterans health care, the government spends five Oreos. On energy independence, uh, we spend half an Oreo. <laughs> on job training, we spend another half an Oreo. Oh. And on child nutrition, we spend two and a half Oreos. Now, you know, there's just been this report released by the Sustainable Defense Task Force that says that we could safely reduce the Pentagon budget by a hundred billion dollars a year. That would be just 10 Oreos. Wow. But we've got uh, a group of admirals and generals that say they're more comfortable with 70 billion dollar a year reduction. That would be seven Oreos. And I want to show you what we could do with those seven Oreos. Here's three, four, five, six, seven. You take seven off that pile. And if you take two and a half, and put them on K-12 education, 
that would be enough over a period of 10 years to rebuild all of the schools in the United States in our inner cities that are crumbling and falling apart. Uh, and you know, there's six million kids that are dying a year of lack of food. Uh, for just one and a half Oreos off that stack, we could take care of all of them. A lot of people say that would do a lot better at preventing terrorism. Uh, and for veterans' health care, really all that's needed in order to get veterans the health care that they deserve and were promised is another half an Oreo, $5 billion. And to, to really reduce our uh, reliance on Mideast oil, we could reduce our, our reliance on all imported Oreo for, uh, all, all imported oil, sorry, for uh, one Oreo a year over a period of 10 years. That would be through energy efficiency and incentives uh, for hybrid cars. Uh, and in terms of job training, we could add half an Oreo and provide jobs, job training for another 500,000 people a year that have been laid off. And there's still childhood hunger in our own country. For another half an Oreo, we could take care of all hungry children in the United States. And that still leaves another half an Oreo, $5 billion, for you to guys do whatever you want to do with it. Now, now, some people say, you know, uh, okay, we see you can move around some Oreos on a chart, but that's going to leave us vulnerable to our adversaries. Well, you know, the countries now that spend the most that are not our allies on their militaries would be Russia, which spends seven Oreos. They used to spend exactly the same as us. Uh, China which spends 10 Oreos. And then the countries we're really concerned about, that would be Iran, Libya, Syria, North Korea, Cuba. Put them all together, they spend one and a half Oreos. So as you can see, we would still have more than enough to take care of those guys after we took care of all those social needs. Now, some people say, uh, all right, but what are you going to cut from the Pentagon? What do those Oreos represent? Well, you guys know, of course, but uh, I want to give you just one illustration. And this is, this is an audio illustration. I want to kind of give you a demonstration of what we get for the $20 billion a year that we spend on our nuclear arsenal. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some BBs in this container. Uh, here's one BB. That represents the equivalent of 15 bombs the size of which blew up Hiroshima. Now I'm going to drop in six BBs. That would be enough nuclear weapons to blow up all of Russia. And now I'm going to put in the amount of BBs that represents our total nuclear arsenal. That was 10,000 BBs, the equivalent of 150,000 Hiroshima-sized bombs. Now, you know, some people hear that de uh, demonstration, they're a little depressed. But uh, the upside is that uh, military advisors tell us that we could reduce our expenditures on nuclear weapons by $10 billion a year and still have more than enough nuclear weapons to protect the vital self-interests of the United States. Um, and you know, you, you come to uh, a conference like this and there's a whole lot of talk. Uh, right now, uh, there is the uh, New START uh, nuclear reduction treaty uh, that's being going to be voted on in Congress in the next month or two. And there happen to be 
seven senators that are on the fence and uh, getting them to vote the right way will make the difference. And those senators are probably senators from your home states, uh, both senators from Maine, uh, Senator Brown from Massachusetts, Lemieux from Florida, Voinovich from Ohio, Grassley from Iowa, and Bond from Montana. So if you're looking to actually do anything right now, that would be the thing to do is to get in touch with those guys and try to get them to vote right. Our country, the last remaining superpower on Earth, needs to learn to measure its strength, not in terms of how many people we can kill, but in terms of how many people we can feed, clothe, house, and care for. Thank you very much.